Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. Hey, Hey, Bruce. How'd your weekend go? Oh, golly, gee willikers. I did a lot of running. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about how I saw you running around the school the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it has the best sidewalks in town. So, you yeah, know, it's, it's safe. <laughs> it's safe and you run around and you can yeah. time it out how long it is and the right. length of it and yep. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And make my own routine, do my own thing, you know. Oh, right on. <laughs> mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you do anything special you get in Jason? Oh, there was, it was cool. Uh, we went up to Gold Beach. Uh-oh. Southern Oregon Coast Pride was doing a, a Friendsgiving potluck thing for uh, oh, cool. yeah, for the weekend in advance of, of Thanksgiving so people can, can spend time with their found family if they so choose. and. It was fun. There was like some some very raucous bingo games going on over there at the event center up in Gold Beach. So, oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a good time. Um, crazy at the bingo yeah, center. You know, although there is danger in saying uh, it's a potluck, bring whatever, because I think we all ended up essentially having not so much a Thanksgiving dinner, but like a dessert bar. Oh, is that what? <laughs> <laughs> like three different pies. Everybody's like, like, like we'll a crate dessert. station. <laughs> it was cookies, so many cookies. <laughs> yeah. So we were all sugared up on our way out, just going like somebody brought mac and cheese, and we all just descended on it. Like a flock of like went down like yeah, food. Which is savory. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It was so good. So That's good. And of course, it was one of the moms that brought it. And so, you know, they were oh, thinking yeah. of uh, Beyond Dessert. Good on her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How was your weekend? Oh, it was good. We had a good one and everything. We had an epic Nerf Wars battle on Friday night. And mm. Kids came over and stayed over the night there with Junebug, uh, and, and it was like at Best House. And it was like, yeah, mm-hmm. epic Nerf War. The, uh, Actually, Tori will be on next week with Bill on the show from Beacon. And uh, her guy, he got right into it with them kids. And mm. Beth, the kids can't use it, but she bought a machine gun one that can hold 90 darts in it, you know, and it, uh-huh. the Nerf darts. <laughs> and uh, and it's battery operator, man. She gets on there. Bah, 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 bah. Well, he had that thing, and he just had them kids going. We were, it's like the next day is funny. You're finding darts in the weirdest places, and you're going, ah, you start laughing because, like, how'd this end up here? Well, no, go figure, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got my favorite ones, too. And they're, oh, it's fun. So yeah. It's Nerf Wars, man. So it's like, yeah, it'll be, mm. it'll be easy to get them Christmas presents this year. That's for sure. It's like, yeah. <laughs> make it all Nerf, and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it. We just had fun this weekend and uh, enjoyed the football games and all that good stuff. And, yeah, that was it. So, uh mm-hmm. We had some good times. Hope everybody out there had some fun as well and got out there. We got stuff still going on. I mean, there's, yeah, fundraisers. There's all kinds of stuff going on. We'll be talking about that really soon here. Uh, Before we get going, though, I'd like to thank Trike City Dispensary, the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show, or one of the other fine shows you can find at KCIW. You just go to KCIW.org and you will be on your merry way. And speaking of on his merry way, he's back home. Dave is back in town after family visit down South California. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Yeah, a good trip. Good to have you back. Huh? Well, you thank you, Bruce. Great one there, bud? Thank you, Kat. Yeah, it was a great trip, but it is all, always good to return home, I think. Yeah. Again, this is our, our paradise here. Oh, yeah. I like Brookings a lot. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I like to fish a lot, yes. as you know. Well, and where you live and your back, your back of your house is right there off yep. the river. I mean, you're in paradise, Daddy. <laughs> that, yes, that, it that is. is true. <laughs> <laughs> as a, We have a sign above my door, a fisherman lives here with a normal person. Yeah. And my, yeah. my wife refers to that all the time. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> and I think it's true. Well, that's what I said when you guys came in, I, I, or when you came in, I was like going, yeah, I just love it. You and your wife, you know, are relaxed and just, mm. you know, retired the right way. I mean, you're doing it. It's just fine, blissful. Good yes. times, and I love watching your stuff on Facebook. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we should do a fish report. We might as well, since that's what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Uh, in the ocean, if we can get out in the ocean, we, we haven't been able to noticing. go yeah. lately. It, it gets pretty messed up this time of the year. But mm-hmm. bottom fishing is open. It'll be open to the end of the year. Okay. So just if we can get out, then you've got your, your five rockfish, two lingcod, and one cabazon. And uh, a pear at the moment. and a pear tree. But no. be, you can... You can go and do surf perch, so that's along oh, okay. the you know cool. the beaches. You can catch some surf perch without having to go out into the big ocean. Mm. So that's nice. However, the hot ticket right now, the Chetco River, is producing uh, a pretty good salmon bite, Chinook salmon. 
So they're in the system. Uh, if you remember wow. a while back, all the boats down at the in the estuary trolling around at the harbor. Mm -hmm. Well, now those fish have now moved up into the system. And so now people are fishing them out of drift boats and also plunking along the banks. I noticed that a little Mm -hmm. If they're a little more traffic than usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So right uh, there is that going on. There's some beautiful fish being caught. I think right now it's a, a good run. I think the Checo is having a good salmon run. Mm -hmm. So that's that's bodes well for the future. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah. Uh, so there's the salmon going on. Steelhead. Normally there are some steelhead being caught, I, I have heard. <laughs> uh, but we cannot keep them. The season does not open until December 1st for steelhead. Uh -huh in the Chetco River. That's new this year. Mm. Normally I'd be fishing around Thanksgiving time and catching steelhead, but the season is opens December 1st and people need to be mindful that there's two new fishing regulations that go with that. If you want to fish for steelhead, you need to purchase a validation tag mm. and that costs only $2, but you must have that yeah, in possession have, yeah. if you're fishing for steelhead. Mm. And if you want to keep a wild steelhead, you also have to purchase a wild harvest tag. That's $10. And that allows you to keep one wild steelhead per day and three for the entire season. Mm -hmm. So those are out there. You can buy them at Buy Mart, check out Door Store, even online at the ODFW port portal that's online. So that's happening there. And, oh, crabbing. Uh, crab is supposed to open December 1st for us, but in years past, uh, the demoic acid has been an issue and then it sometimes delayed, but we don't know that for a fact yet. As of right now, we're looking at a December 1st opening oh, cool. for ocean crabbing. There we go. And then um, I think that's about it for for fish. Right on. And then you got a meeting coming up, oh, you're yes. saying. Yeah, we ought to get that out because we're talking about it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's uh, coming up Wednesday. Wednesday evening, a, a different format. We're going to be at the Elks Lodge, mm -hmm. not the library because the library has a book fair going mm -hmm. on. So this Wednesday, we'll be at the Elks Lodge for our November club meeting uh, that will be starting at five o'clock. We're going to have a little social time from five to 530. That's something a little different. I'm just throwing out because it's kind of the holiday oh, holiday yeah, spirit. No. Yeah. Uh, but we have a very uh, well-known guest. We have a guest speaker. His name's Dr. Leif Rasmussen from Newport, mm -hmm. and he's the Marine Fisheries Science Project leader and he's coming down to talk about all the surveys he's been doing along the coast of Oregon, hmm. uh, focused on on bottom fish, uh, broods, not broodstock, bottom fish stock assessments. How healthy is our ocean? Oh, okay. And we continue to harvest uh, five fish, you know, per day. It's That'll really be interesting. He's got a really nice presentation. I've seen it before. Right and for everybody out there, just to know that he's meaning. Wednesday, the first day you hear this show, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's it's the fifteenth of November. Yes, exactly. Oh yes, it's thank just you. Let everybody know. Yeah, Clarify, so you yeah. gotta catch it. This, you know, the, the first airing of this. <laughs> that's your short notice. Show up. That's how you get. Show up. You're good. Well, we're gonna have a great time. And then in December, our Christmas party. Instead of a club meeting, we have our famous Christmas party, December nineteenth, oh. at the Elks Lodge. So mm -hmm. more to be said on that later on. Well, yes, we got a few more shows. We do. Perfect. That'll work. We do. And that'll be great. Well, thank you. Always. Always good to have uh, our man on the boat. <laughs> Can't wait for those days to come back. Okay, again. me neither. We're going to have to do that. <laughs> yeah, have look forward to that. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, take care of you. But thanks a lot, Dave. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you. And now it's time to go do some dancing lessons, right? How did you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Line we got you class, down, Daddy. Elks. We got your Monday. 12 noon. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. You too have one. Because I live with a normal person. I got to right. come through for and her. She wants to go dancing. Mary Lou says, I'm going dancing. You're going too. <laughs> so there you go. Good chat. Thanks a lot. Yep. You have a great one. Take care. Bye. Yeah, missed having Dave on. Glad he's back in town. Yeah, me too. He was out having some fun with the family and everything mm -hmm. like that. And saw the grandkids and all that good stuff. So that's cool. But like I said, man, him and Mary, Mary Lou, they got their life. Just oh, they got yeah. a beautiful life they, retirement. They're, killing they're doing it. it right. They're killing it. <laughs> they're doing it. Absolutely. So. All righty. Well, here we go. That was fun. Always having him on board. And so let's get going with the music schedule. We still got some good stuff going right. on here. What do you yeah. got for us? Oh, yeah, it's me starting it out mm -hmm. this time. Hey, it's Misty Mountain Brewing uh, on the 18th and 24th. They're going to have Lon Goddard from 6 to 8. All right, and we have some events here at Tortuga Mexican Bar and Grill. On the 17th, Lon Goddard's going to play from 6 to 8 over there. And on the 25th, it'll be Black GTO playing from 6 to 8. It will be. And the Inateca on the 17th, they'll have Cut It Like the Kings playing at 8. 
And on the 18th, they got the class of 2013 10-year reunion going on down there at 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's going to be an all-day party going on there. All right. Yeah. And at the Elk Valley Casino, Warriors Bar and Grill, on the 17th and 18th, they're going to be hosting music from Mike Powell playing at 7.30. And then on the 24th and the 25th, it's going to be Jesse Mead also playing at 7.30. Yep. And P.A. and T. Roy, they've got a gig coming up here on the 17th at Chetco Brewing Company from 6 to 8. Mm Mm-hmm. And then Danielle Duran open mic events are happening every Tuesday at Oxen Free at 8 o'clock. And they also happen every Thursday at Checo Brewing Co. from 5 to 7. Yes, indeedy. Mm-hmm. And then the Tony Land Band mm-hmm. on the 11 to 18, they'll be playing at Kuntai from 6 to 8. Yes. There you go. And the Mighty Steelheads are going to be playing on the 18th at Porta Pines Brewing in Crescent City. Music there starts at 8 o'clock. Yep, and the Italian guys, forget about it. They'll be playing on the 25th at Kuntai, 6 p.m. Yep, and Ranch Party is going to be playing on the 17th at Kuntai, again, 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah, Mike Powell on the 17th and 18th, as I said earlier, you'll catch him at Elk Valley Casino at 7.30 p.m. Yep, and then we have some daytime music here from Cisco and Daltrey. They're playing on the 29th yep. at the Checo Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Man, the Black GTO is playing on uh, the 25th. They'll be at Tartuga Mexican Restaurant, 6 to 8. And on the 26th, they're going to be in Eureka at the Red Line Bar at 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. So if you want to follow them, there's a little trip there for you. And then we have a recap of all of the music coming up from Long Goddard here. On the 16th, he'll be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. On the 17th, he'll be at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant from 6 to 8. And on the 18th and the 24th, he'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing, again, from 6 to 8. Very consistent there. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And if you want to get your uh, music on here, if you're a musician or in a band out there and you want to get your stuff on the schedule, all you got to do is send it to me, email at captaincurry541 at gmail.com, and we'll get her on the air for you. Mm -hmm. And then the Manly Arts Center in Brookings, Oregon, is featuring new works by abstract artist Elizabeth Roberts through the month of November. Also featured for the holiday season is an expanded selection of local fine art and artisan gifts, including handmade ceramics and pottery, wood and fiber crafts, exquisite paintings, and limited edition signed prints at bargain prices. You can stop in early for the best gift selections or any time now through December to get exclusive art treasures for every budget. Zoe West's new paintings are from her Life Form series, which she describes as organic abstract representing thoughts, emotions, motives, and ideas at the molecular level. The intangible working of our mind and inner being rendered in colorful probabilities. There's that molecular level thing again. Yeah, Dan Aykroyd, last time I did one of his things, he was all over that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty (laughs) cool. It's electrifying. Hey, uh, Brookings Harbor Garden Club is presenting Grafting with John Savage. This is happening on the 16th at 11 a.m. Doors open at 1045. This will be at the Checkco Public Library located at 405 Alder in Brookings. 1991, John Savage contacted UCSC Santa Cruz Agricultural Department to inquire about fruit tree grafting and was directed to an organization called California Rare Fruit Growers Association. He has been a member of that organization since then. John learned how to graft the following year and has grafted several hundred fruit trees. He will be discussing the different methods of grafting, information relating to grafting, grafting tools and materials, preparing for the grafting day, as well as demonstrating a couple of grafting techniques. Hey, admission is free. Free, free, free. And the party girls of Del Norte and Curry County are having a quarter craze benefit auctions, a very merry quarter craze for Santa's workshop. This is going to be taking place at the Elk Valley Casino on the 17th of November from 5.30 to 9. You're invited to come out and help support this wonderful organization. You can bring a stocking stuffer, tape, or wrapping paper for a chance at the magic paddle. And you can dress festive for a second chance. And dessert is available by donation. Dinner is available from the Warriors Bar and Grill. Now, this event is for ages 18 and over, but you can help give Santa's workshop a big boost for the holiday. And hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from Carl Sagan. He was born November 9th, 1934. He says, our passion for learning is our tool for survival. The cure for fallacious argument is a better argument, not the suppression of ideas. He says, the cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. 
And last but not least, he says, the fact that some geniuses were laughed at does not imply that all who are laughed at are geniuses. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Carl Sagan with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yeah, yeah Carl uh, Sagan, mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm, very nice. All right, the CPR, AED, and first aid training workshop is happening at the Del Norte Child Care Council. That's located at 212K Street in Crescent City. And this is going to be happening on the 18th of November from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And yes, there is going to be breaks in between. This course will prepare you to recognize and take care of a variety of first aid, breathing, and cardiac emergencies involving adults, children, and infants. Now, the cost is $65 per person. And if you want more information about this course, you can contact Angela at 707-464-8311, extension 2. Two, four. Yeah. Hey, and the Checkco Activity Center located at 550 Checkco Lane in Brookings is having a rummage sale. This will be happening on November 18th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's holiday themed, go figure. There'll be baked goods, candies, holiday decorations, arts and crafts, hobbyist items, plus a whole lot more. A whole lot more. And then happening at the Brookings Elks Lodge, they're presenting a gala by the sea and night at the Elks on the 18th from 5 to 10 p.m. The Brookings Elks Lodge is thrilled to announce their upcoming November Gala by the Sea Night. It's going to be a night of elegance and philanthropy benefiting the Brookings Harbor Food Bank. You can treat yourself to a delectable evening with your choice of prime rib or chicken cordon bleu, lovingly prepared by their skilled catering team, and there are vegetarian options available. You can dance the night away to the beats of their live DJ, ensuring a lively and enjoyable atmosphere for all. Refreshments will be available at their No Host Bar, offering a selection of your favorite drinks throughout the night. You can discover unique treasures and incredible experiences at their silent auction, where your bids will directly contribute to their noble cause. Tickets are available for purchase at the Resource Office located at 539 Hemlock Street. That's for the food bank. You can also conveniently purchase tickets on their website at brookingsharborfoodbank.org. Just mention gala tickets in the memo and they'll be happy to mail them to you or have them ready for pickup at their office. And the prices for tickets, singles are $75, couples tickets are $125, and then there are business tables available. It's $375 for six people. And all proceeds from this momentous event will be directed toward the acquisition of a larger food warehouse and resource center. All right. Yeah, very, very nice. good. Very, very good, good cause there. I'm cause... trying to see if I can make that one. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, good deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. On the very food. Very nice. It'd be cool. fun. Yeah, good cause, everything. <laughs> hey, and the Seroptimus International of Crescent City having an annual holiday artisan fair. This is at the Crescent City Cultural Center located at 1001 Front Street. This is happening on November 19th. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Artisan vendors, cookies, seized candy, and a soup table. Admission is free. Mm -hmm. And then back to the Checo Activity Center. They are located at 550 Checo Lane in Brookings. They're having a Thanksgiving lunch fundraiser. This is going to happen on the 23rd of November from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's $25 per lunch, BYOB, they say. Proceeds from this dinner will directly benefit the programs of the Checo Activity Center, such as their Meals on Wheels program. And for more info, you can contact them at 541-469-6822. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Greek fire was once a powerful weapon? It's true, and here's the story. In the 17th century AD, the Byzantine Empire harnessed the power of fire with the creation of Greek fire, a weapon of destruction unlike any before its time. This formidable incendiary weapon was able to fire massive flames in a continuous jet, burning a trail of destruction in its path that was nearly impossible to extinguish. Greek fire was most likely the invention of Kalinkos of Heliopolis, a Jewish architect who fled from Syria to Constantinople. It was that time when the Byzantine Empire was being attacked by the Islamic forces of the Prophet Muhammad and parts of Syria had been taken over. While concerned about an Islamic attack against Constantinople, Kalinikos experimented with a variety of materials until he discovered a mix for an incendiary weapon. The weapon's impact on the course of history cannot be overstated as it played a key role in the defense of Constantinople and the preservation of the Byzantine Empire. Used in naval battles to set enemy ships on fire, 
It consisted of a combustible compound emitted by a flamethrowing weapon to great effect, as it could continue burning while floating on water. The exact composition of the Greek fire remains a mystery to this day, just as secret as, as its origins. The recipe for Greek fire was closely guarded and was eventually lost over time. I hope you enjoyed this week's bit of history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Mm-hmm. Kind of a trip, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. Greek fire stuff. I heard about that, but yeah. I didn't realize they didn't know what it was actually right. consistent of. And if you read it into mm-hmm. it more deeper, they name off all these different chemicals. It's almost like napalm times a mm-hmm. hundred, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever. It's like crazy. The stuff, mm-hmm. the water wouldn't put it out. Water wouldn't make yeah. it increase. Right. You know? Gee, so. I, I wonder where George R. R. Martin got his inspiration for wildfire in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you betcha. Yeah. <laughs> you know it anytime they did because this stuff right. was back in the day. That's for a 17th century. Good old, cent- good old century. history buff, oh, Mr. Yeah. Martin there. <laughs> yeah. All right. The Elk Valley Casino is presenting an evening with Josh Heinrichs. This is going to be on the 25th of November. Doors open at 7. The show will take place at 8. Josh Heinrichs is an American reggae singer and songwriter who was the former lead singer of the internationally known indie reggae band Jaw Roots and is the current owner and operator of the indie reggae record label Ganja Record. Ever since leaving the band in 2008, Heinrichs has launched a successful solo career and has released several albums including a number one billboard charting release with Good Vibes in 2016. Now, this event, you have to be 21 or older to attend. It's at a casino. And tickets are available exclusively through etix.com. Yes, indeed. Hey, Nature's Coastal Holiday and the Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce are presenting Festival of Lights opening night. Yeah, it's going to be here pretty soon. This is at Azalea Park, of course. There's going to be a ribbon cutting with Santa Claus. This is happening on the 24th. At 5 p.m. That starts the whole thing off. And if uh, the crowds that come with that are not quite your thing, don't worry. They're running all month long. It's going to be mm-hmm. happening from the 24th through the 27th of December. And it runs from 5 to 9 p.m. each night, featuring sweets, treats, and entertainment. Hundreds of light sculptures, millions of lights. Adults are $3 to get in. Kids under 12 years old get in for free. And there are going to be Santa visits happening every Friday and Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Oh, oh yeah. I think we went three times last year. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are not I here. mean, it was just the first time they did that many. It was incredible. Right. You know, it's it was like really you wild. get overwhelmed by all the shiny, and then uh, you have to uh, go uh, to get a second pass and really take it in. Uh-huh. Yeah. I missed <laughs> yeah. that the first yeah. time around. Uh-huh. Like yeah, exactly. Visit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Livin' Lovin' Lead. This is a Led Zeppelin tribute band. This is happening on November 25th. 5th at 8 p.m. Living Love and Lead, the Led Zeppelin tribute to the legendary sounds of Led Zeppelin at the Lucky Seven Casino and Hotel on Saturday, November 25th in the Talawa Event Center. This in-person event will transport you back to the golden age of rock and roll. The tribute band brings the iconic songs of Led Zeppelin to life. From Stairway to Heaven to Cashmere, tickets are at www.eventbrite.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 you must be 21 years old to attend this event. Okay. And Another casino thing. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Lots of good music happening this mm-hmm. month. Cool. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Hey, the Curry Public Library up in Gold Beach is having their annual 2023 Gingerbread House Competition. Woo. And it's going to kick off on Saturday, November 25th, all day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can pick up a free gingerbread house kit from the library. Now, this is first come, first serve while supplies last. Or you can purchase your own kit, or you can make your own gingerbread house at home. And then on Sunday, December 10th, from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., you can bring your completed house for an in-person judging extravaganza at the library featuring wintry treats, secret judges, fabulous prizes, and, of course, an ugly sweater contest. And here are the rules. Participants are welcome to use the kit provided, their own kit, or, if you like hard mode, make your own gingerbread house from scratch. Regardless, all parts of the gingerbread house display must be edible, with the exception of the base and platform for the house. To be eligible for entry in the family division, at least one member of your group or household must be under the age of 18. So in each division, prizes are going to be awarded for the following. The best overall gingerbread house, the most creative use of food items, 
and the best presentation of this year's theme, Hometown Holiday. Hometown Holiday, that's coming up. Yeah, hey, game night at the Whimsical Griffin is happening at 615 Checo Avenue, right by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., you got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and a whole lot of board games. Okay. So there you go. Yeah, you won't be bored with the board games. <laughs> All right. On to some PSAs here. Um, still going on. Meals on Wheels is still looking for volunteers, and they are in need of volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to homebound residents who can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have both a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a good opportunity for anyone out there who wants to give back to the community and to be a friendly face and deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to local homebound residents. Now, whether you're interested in doing this for a day, a week, or a whole month, all volunteers are welcome. And if you want to help out, you can contact Debbie at 714-423-9797. You got time for one more here before we go. But hey, yeah, the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of the Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop, founded in 2019 following the transition from the Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA, allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Mm -hmm. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old and are able to pass a background check and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 every Monday night except holidays. Come meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road. Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Haglin at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson at 707 707- Nine five one three six four seven, and I did see them in action this weekend. Uh-huh. So they are all dressed in their outfits and everything, and it looked like a little few more troops. So I'm hoping this is working. Oh yeah, they're and having I'm a little outing there. People come in. Look like they. I think they put the flags out and everything. Nice, nice, and yeah. all that I'm stuff. Glad they do that. I saw them doing something, loading the trailer, but they were all in the uniform, and there was a good handful of them there. You know, a good amount there. So I'm hoping that this is working, or and they're getting some people on board because Very nice to hear. that is really an important thing that we need to do. All right, so here we go. All done with this, and I lost my. <laughs> yeah, it's this time to close out the week show. Before we go, I want to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can listen to all the fantastic show podcasts as well, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Until next week, this is Cousin Bruce. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And we'll see you out there. We'll see you out there. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> hey, remember to shop local, everybody. Support local businesses. I miss that. See, I gotta have the script. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.